I would say the signs that you need to adjust caloric intake are as if, if you're losing muscle mass, if you're feeling weaker, if your energy is low, uh, and you've otherwise uh, been going down this path toward metabolic flexibility, uh, the best signal I can have is, is, you know, how do you feel? If you don't feel like you're getting enough calories, if you feel like you need a little bit more energy, a little bit more muscle mass, add in some protein first. Um, you could take your protein up to a gram per pound of, of lean body mass. Um, you could even take it up to a pound of body mass regardless of, what, of lean or not. So if you're a woman and you're 135 pounds uh, and you're not feeling great, you could, you could eat up to 135 grams a day of, of protein. Uh, and then I would maybe add in some, a little bit more fat, maybe a little bit more healthy fat. Now, if, you've, if, if that doesn't do the trick, it may, you may be one of those people who doesn't respond quite so um, impressively to a ketogenic diet. And it may be time to add in 120, 150 grams of quality carbs spaced throughout the day. I suspect most people are getting enough protein. If they're getting at least 70 grams a day uh, spread out over at least two meals, uh, then they're probably getting enough protein. Um, people are getting 110 or 120 grams a day and are worried about not getting enough protein. I suspect that's not a problem. I mean, the signs of not having enough protein would be just, again, a loss of uh, muscle strength, uh, a loss of muscle mass, an, an obvious loss of muscle mass. Um, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's, it's pretty, most protein is, is a structural component of the body. We don't, we don't combust protein. And if you become metabolically flexible and metabolically efficient, then it's almost irrelevant the number of calories per gram of protein because we don't burn the protein, which is where calories are allocated. Calorie is basically a measurement of heat. And we don't really want to burn protein. We want to use it structurally, in which, in, in which case it doesn't take that much in the way of protein on a daily basis to maintain and build uh, muscles and bones and, and connective tissue.